To Cool Wheel One, the barber, DCB, D's Cuts Barbershop, Dayton, Ohio. And I'm here to talk to you about a subject uh, a lot of barbers uh, really don't talk about and really don't discuss. But uh, recently I had to do one of these cuts, but it wasn't my first time. And I talked to some other barbers and I was, you know, amazed by some of the reactions I got. So, you said you had to uh, cut your, your deceased brother. Yeah. Man, tell me a little bit about that. Uh, as a matter of fact, I just happened to do it yesterday. And uh, very different, very different. The, uh, the feeling that I got when I was over there, it was like, uh, I'm honored, first of all, to, to be able to, if someone even asked me to do this. And when I went in there, it was cool, but the bodies and the just the just it was an eerie feeling from time to time but it would go away you know what i'm saying and then you know by me doing someone that's close to me it was my oldest brother that passed you know it was you know heartfelt it was hard to do but it's like you just kind of have a mindset of getting it done and you just go in there and get it done and then i lose it afterwards but It'd be tough, you know, I, I, I don't deal with death, you know, too lightly, so, you know, we have to, you know, do something like this and be, you know, that intimate with somebody who's, you know, went through that transition, you know, I feel like that might be a, a huge challenge for me, especially if it's somebody close to me, because I generally, that's probably the only way I would end up doing something like that. It's cold, you know what I mean, because they have to keep that, that body uh, frozen. It's real cold. Uh, my experience with actually cutting, it's not the same as when you actually have a client in the chair. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's just, a, it's a different experience. It's okay. definitely a different experience. Like, you can't necessarily do everything that you would on on on, uh, on a client that's alive, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it's, it's definitely a different experience. The first, the first two was very emotional. Was my first, well, the first one was a young girl, and she was interested in doing brows and makeup. And she didn't get the opportunity to meet me like she wanted to. So her mom and sisters reached out to me and asked me to do her makeup. Um, it took me a minute before I could really walk into the room. And even once I walked in the room, I had to walk out because it was just too emotional for me. But I ended up finishing the job. And um, I guess after that, I kind of got used to it. The second one was my aunt. And um, that was really emotional for me, too. The third one was my grandmother. But I didn't really cry when I did hers. I guess at that point, I was kind of used to it. I actually had to cut uh, a few deceased clients and probably the one that made me uh, the saddest was uh, it was an 18 year old guy that committed suicide. He lived right down the street on my block and I watched him grow up, man. He played basketball on my team. Um, I knew his mom, uh, I knew his stepdad, his brothers and sisters. It was just a thing, you know, I watched him grow up. First time I did it, man, I was a little nervous. First time I did it, I was a little nervous. I didn't know what to expect. Um, kind of looked at it just like I was going to go into like a little dark CSI room with the dim lights and the dead bodies, but it wasn't bad, man. Um, I think the first one I did was at Thomas Funeral Home. Uh, they had the room set up for me already. The person was on the gurney, head raised. Uh, it kind of puts you in mind of just cutting a manicure. Yeah. Because, you know, this is being human. You normally used to seeing just life in people in general, and just to see that person that you might have cut one day or talked to one day, spent time to, with one day, uh, and you're doing the hair and knowing this is the last time you probably see this person. Uh, it's kind of it's a devastating situation. 
one of my friends, uh, my childhood friend passed away and uh, wasn't expected at all, but he uh, just happens to be within walking distance at the uh, funeral home that's right by my barber shop. As you can see, my barber shop is right there behind me and uh, I'm walking towards the, uh, my dude James coming with me, get some experience. But yeah, my barber shop is right behind me and uh, I'm headed over here to uh, prior funeral home the only thing I'm thinking about right now is let me get this guy together let me do what I'm supposed to do his family wants him to look a certain way and that's what I'm trying to do this is my friend but I want him to look good for his family at this point, I'm just trying to stay focused. So, uh, if I can ask, have you cut anybody close, like maybe a relative or anything? Yeah, I cut a few family members. It was kind of like, you know, my last chance to have my little final words with them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if some ones I didn't really get to see prior to them passing away. Uh, maybe it was a situation where I didn't uh, really get to tell them how I felt prior to passing away. So it was my last little personal time being with him. And it was private, personal, I can say what I wanted to say and express my feelings without anybody really, uh, you know, being around. I can be honest with you, man, it really was not bad at all. As a matter of fact, it was kind of like... Like that. I sat there, didn't move. Yeah, for the most part, I will say, um, it can be scary at first, but I wasn't sure what to expect. Um, but all jokes aside, you don't have to worry about anything because when you're cutting a deceased person, um, you get to be able to just focus on doing you. You get to focus on your skill and your craft and your profession and you can give them the attention that is needed, you know, for their final um, goodbyes and whatnot, so people can, you know, see them how they were remembered. Was that- I'd do it again. Was, okay, so I was gonna ask you, because you do it again, was mm -hmm. that your first time ever That was my first it? time. Okay, That's Man. my first time. So you think that would be like, maybe your hardest one that you, because it was somebody so close? Oh, it wasn't hard at all. Okay. It wasn't hard at all, it was, it was easy. Yeah. Wanted to do it. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Because he was close to me. Yes, sir. You I know, know exactly mama, what you yeah, mean. Wanted to do it. I won't, I won't want nobody else to do yes, it. Yes, sir. You know, you know. But yeah, I would do it again. Okay. So, and you said you've done several. So what's the closest relation that you've had to uh, cut that has been deceased? Um, as far as a person, it would be my father. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you ain't got no sense. <laughs> yeah, but all jokes aside, though, I love it. It was my pops, uh, and after that, oh, I figured Lord. if I can cut my pops, I can cut anybody. You know, granted, everybody else matter, but that was the man I looked up to. That was my hero. You know, that was my idol. I cut him. Anybody else, you know, I can cut. I'm honored that the family chose me. This is my friend and I love him. And if you're a barber, I hope this video helps you if you ever have to do the final cut.